hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for tuning in i'm aladi and today we're going to be learning how to make a mini shoulder bag well this is a red mini shoulder bag i'm going to be using to teach you how to make this bag in a simple way that you can make it right from the comfort of your home stay tuned and rewatch if you don't understand and ask your questions in the comment section as i'm going to be explaining it from drafting the pattern to sewing to cutting the material and sewing it perfectly i'll be using a cotton to draft my pattern you can use a newspaper or a sheet of paper just anything firm and this is the length and width we'll be using so if you follow closely what you're seeing on the screen i'm 100 percent sure that you're going to get what i just did just follow the process trust the process and repeat the video if you don't understand trust me you're going to get it For the sides of the bag, get your sheet and measure out 11 inches by 3 inches. Out of the 11 inches, you measure out 3 and a half, which will serve as the base. So we are left with 7.5 inches for the side. So at the corners of the top of this pattern, we are going to mark out 0.75 inches, that is a quarter of an inch. And then we are going to mark from that point down to where the base starts and cut it out. So now we have our patterns, we are going to place it on our materials, draft it out, add our allowance and then we will cut it out. Remember the pattern for the sides was drafted on fold, so when, when we are cutting the sides, we will fold the material. So moving on from there, we're going to cut out the piping which is 2 to 3 inches less than the side of the bag we just cut out. And then after cutting the piping, we're going to cut out a material that we will use to attach the piping to the bag and that's what we're doing now. So what we're cutting is going to, we're going to sew this black piping inside the material we're cutting out. So that the color will be beautiful so that it's going to be a full red bag it just so the piping on it is not going to be beautiful next on we cut out the strap for the bag which is short from there we're going to cut out the lining which is the same measurement as the material itself now we are done with the drafting and the cutting of the material and it's time to sew we start with the piping
After sewing the piping, we attach it to the body of the bag and make sure the piping starts from one inch below. And then we sew it round like so. Leaving out the allowance. Next, we trim out the excess and we start by joining the side to the back, starting from the middle part. I always start from the middle to make sure both sides are equal so that we don't have to keep losing all the time. If there is excess, it will end up at the top and then we can trim it out. If you're following up to this point then I believe your bag should be looking similar to this and if you don't get it please rewatch it from where you lost where you're lost and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so now we are putting in the zip well actually the zip can be put before this time but I just decided to put the zip now it doesn't really matter After putting in the zip, we did not put the zip lock yet because it's not yet time for that. Next up, we just sew the strap, making the strap for the bag. As you can see on the machine, there is a pair of D-ring which we are going to be adding to the bag as an accessory. So we are going to be cutting out two and a half of that small strap that is there, two and a half of it, and then putting the D-ring in it and sewing it to the side of the bag, the top of the side of the bag. As you can see, that's how it's going to be sewn. After doing that, we move on to the lining. First of all, I'm going to be adding a pocket to the bag, a simple pocket which I measured out 10 inches by 5 inches and I folded it into two, folded the 10 inches part into two and sewed it, turned it inside out like you can see and now we attach it to the bag as you can see. It's optional if you do not want to put this pocket, it's not compulsory. After attaching the pocket to this to this part of the bag, we're going to sew the side, the the rest of the lining together, just like we sewed the bag itself. Except that we're going to leave an opening at the bottom of this lining, so that we can use it to turn the bag right side out when we are done sewing. Remember, the main bag, we haven't turned it, we haven't turned the right side out, but for the lining, we will turn the right side out this way and put it inside the bag, which is inside out, like this. We're, going just, we're just going to put it inside, just like this, and then sew it round at the tip, round like this. If you don't understand what I said, please rewatch it. Just go back and rewatch it. We're going to sew it round this way 
it might not be so easy but that is just the only option for this process and i haven't done that the space that we left open is what we're going to use to turn the bag right side out and then close it next up we do a top stitch this way we're going to do a top stitch on it like that at this point you have to be extremely patient and careful if you have watched up to this point do subscribe like and drop your comments next up we're going to close the opening we left earlier on and then after closing this opening we're going to fix our zip completely we're going to put the zip lock as you're going to see it soon If you've watched up to this point you're doing a really great job and it's time to fix the zip so we're going to hold the zip in the right way pull out those straws and then put the zip lock into it pull the straws through the opening of the zip lock and then pull it out take a piece of the bag material cover up the tip and sew it through like so to make it neat and there we have our zip and the last thing is to fix the strap just to put it in and sew it stitch So that was the last process we just went through and then we're finally done with the bag. So this is a sign for you to go and make yours, give it a try, it is not difficult. So if you're using a black head machine, make sure your material is not too thick and if your material is thick, try to be patient and give it, give it a try, it's going, to, it's going to come out great. If you have watched this point, please like, comment, subscribe, share. And thank you for watching. I am grateful. And I hope you watch my other videos. I hope you subscribe. Stay tuned. Love you. And bye.